It's the same mono shock that they have in the back. On the way to cross 18,000 feet, steering, it, it steers easier. So guys, we're just shy eight feet below 18,000 feet. The ride over here was about two hours going up. We climbed 6,000 feet from 12,000 where we started. We're now at 8,000. Way to cross 18,000 feet on the Scrambler 411. It's a long way down. Almost at 18,000 feet. Oh, gotta see this view. Can't breathe. Oh, that's where it's above 18,000, but I'm not climbing over there. I can barely breathe. That's the other side of the ridge. This is the ridge. This is the pass where we're coming. <laughs> Let me tell you about the experience with the World Enfield, the Scram 411. Let me just, as I'm walking around, showing you a walk around, tell you what I've noticed. After six days on the Royal Enfield Himalayan, or Himalayan, Himalayan, I noticed a few significant uh, differences. The styling. Styling itself, as you know, has uh, no engine guards over here, uh, and it has no front, uh, small, short front fairing. The instrument cluster is uh, a diff is completely different. It has uh, we are a more modern one gauge that includes pretty much everything on it. There's no uh, no tachometer. There's no tack on this one. Pretty much, I would say that is the big difference in the styling. I think the suspension, the rear suspension, it's the same mono shock that they have in the back. That is the same one that they have on the uh, on the Himalayan. But what they do have with these is the front forks are shorter by an inch. And by dropping by one inch, the whole stance of the bike drops forward. So uh, the geometry and handling of the bike feels different. The front wheel, I'm not sure, I think it's either a 19, let me see. It's, yeah, this is a 19 and the Himalayan is a 21. And that makes a big difference with the handling of the bike. Because it's a smaller uh, radius, you actually feel the bike being way more nimble. And when I mean more nimble, first of all, it's it, in steering, it, it steers easier and, you know, maneuvering.
one significant uh, thing that I've noticed is when you're in a turn and you dip into a turn, it actually wants to drop further. Whereas the Himalayan would, ch would you, you choose your, your path and it would hold, would hold that line. With this bike, with the Scram, you actually feel that it wants to keep and dip and drop further down. And one biggest difference that I've noticed is the is the suspension actually the suspension over here is not as good for off-road as the himalayan was where with the himalayan it was it was great because of first of all the front wheel which was way bigger and i guess it has further travel front and rear and it would take take up the bumps way easier With this, it's more uh, bumpy. Coming up here, it was same, pretty much same terrain that I had for the last six days when I've been riding with the Himalayan. And I felt this ride is way, way more bumpy. So this is definitely a scrambler and it's more suit and fitted for commuting every once in a while if you take it off road or something like that and not definitely not for long haul adventure riding. If you want an adventure riding bike you definitely want to go with the Himalayan. I felt that with the Himalayan the long distances, the long rides on the off road uh, terrain and the rugged terrain I had a more, a more comfortable ride with this. The ride is not as comfortable, but actually in town where I'm on paved road, I felt this bike to be more comfortable and more nimble. So that's pretty much uh, the big differences. This bike is great. It's actually, I felt that in town, it was uh, actually even pushing me to do, you know, do stuff that I should not have been doing because it's so nimble. 
and for whatever reason I felt that as if it had more response on a throttle doesn't make sense because it has the same engine but I did feel uh, the bike more agile more nimble and more responsive so this one will be better for uh, in town and short uh, off-road every once in a while and the Himalayan would definitely uh, be better for more adventure adventure riding that's it guys I'm gonna head down I'll show you some other clips up this is what a typical gas station looks like yeah uh, should I take 80 83 87 93 I think I'll take whatever they have hi 